up everybody it's your boy DL out here at the beach today going to uh, do a little uh, combo uh, combo episode today I guess you call it so I'm going to go out and get some razor clams today and use uh, some of those razor clams for bait um, show you which part of the clams you want to use that work really well uh, hopefully get into some red tails they're, they're catching the red tails like crazy uh, another town over on the beach so we'll We'll hit my favorite spot to get razors here, and um, we'll cut a few up, and we'll we'll head uh, we'll head south, and we'll go to a town down the ways where they're really getting into the red tails, and uh, see if we can get into them too. So uh, yeah, stay tuned, Country to Coast Adventures. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Please subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment and share this video with your friends. So quite a bit of folks out today. A lot more further down the beach for sure. But shoot, let's go out here and see if we can dig us some razor clams, get us some fresh bait and a little food on the table. So just to show you kind of what we're looking for. Oh, it's gonna be hard to see it with the with the sun reflecting. Kind of the right angle here. It's kind of hard to see. But there's a dimple, right? Right there. A little dimple in the sand there. It's kind of what we're looking for. That is a razor clam there. I'm not going to dig that one. I'm going to dig quality shows today. Big shows. Find the big quality clams, dude. Yeah, there's shows all over the place. I want them big quality shows. Try not to break any today and try not to dig any little ones. Although the little ones... Still pretty tasty, and uh, they make good bait. Because in the state of Oregon, when you're digging these razor clams, you have to keep what you dig. If it comes out of the sand, you have to keep it. Oh yeah, now here's some. See that right there? That's the show. That's a good show. Like shows all over out here on this little, this little stretch. And literally the only thing I need besides a shellfish license is a clam gun and my bucket to carry them. So in Oregon, if you dig razor clams, you have to have your own way of transporting your own uh, shellfish. No combining on someone else's bucket. This cool little crab right here. See him? All right, here comes a good show right here. A couple good shows right here. Let's go after these guys. So I don't know if you can see that. A dimple in the sand. And then you just simply put your clamp gun over it. Go down. There he is. Good quality razor. First one. So again, it's just right over the top. There he is. Thank you. 
shit. Well, try and go get the other guy. So, broke it. That's why you have a backup. After uh, snapping the uh, PVC clam gun, we decided to go with the aluminum. And that PVC one, we actually had found it at Goodwill. Um, you can make those PVC ones for next to nothing. Just with PVC at your local Home Depot. We're gonna head back out to where I was. Just too many shows out there. I did bring my surf rod and uh, brought a crab snare with me today. Someone told me that snaring's good on good low tides like this. Get out on these bars and pitch it out there. So, all right, back on the hunting grounds. Let's get it. Flatbed Art supposed to be joining me this morning. Um, I believe with his daughter or daughter-in-law. All right, again, you're just gonna face the ocean. Try to center that clam gun. Push it down. Just gonna go back and forth. Since these are a little deeper today. There he is. Oh yeah, good razor.
real quick, guys. There's not a bunch to these guns, these clam guns. Um, got your one smaller cylinder that runs down the side. This is just to let air escape and just shove it into the sand. That way it still can get into the sand. And then once you go to pull the sand out on the bottom, you can see it. But on the bottom there's some escape hole right there, right? So you leave that uncovered when you're pushing it down into the sand. When you're ready to pull the clams, you cover that hole and pull that out. And that's what pulls all the sand and creates a backing with all that sand out in that clam with it. All right, guys, a little bit about my uh, snare setup today. I've got the, um, throwing the Abu Garcia, the bruiser, uh, for the rod today. Uh, 40, 40 pound test. This rod will do one to five ounce on the lure. Um, no, no mono today, I'm strictly braid to the snare. And I got the Danielson snare in there. Danielson snare in there. Uh, three ounce disc sinker. Total weight, I'm probably right at right at five. The max of this rod here. So, um, got my bucket of bait here. And I try not to lose it in the surf. And I really, really want to cast right out there. Feels weird without waders on, man. <laughs> Getting some good ones? Oh, shit, yeah. Heck yeah. I only probably got four or five like that one. The rest are all just like medium. I broke my plastic one like that today. Yeah. The handle handle broke off. I had to switch to the metal. They're deep. They're deep today. Oh, there it is. Very good. <laughs> We no. A couple up there, but I found a few donuts where it's still wet today, but it was the same thing. I was just digging the holes in the sand. Yeah. Yeah, that day was <laughs> that was phenomenal that day. That was crazy. Hey. Oh, that's a good one right there. Holy Moses. Yeah, what was that? Four or five of us limit in less than 15 minutes? What up guys? We're at a new spot. I have never fished here before. Right, guys last spot last spot fucking beautiful day oh shit fish on oh Fish on. Stay on. 
Stay on. That thing hit like a beast, bro. Ooh. Stay on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Big fucking red tail, dude. That's a monster. Hell, yeah, bro. Mmm. That is a beast. Look at that. Got him on the clam neck. Female. Big female. Hell yeah, bro. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and a half inch. There's light. Fish on. Small, whatever it is. Stay on there. Stay on there. Oh yeah, just your wee real guy. Oh double! A oh, double! Huh. Little sculpins, I think is what these are. Alright guys, well there it is. Uh one one red tail today. Finally got a red tail caught on camera, so I'm pretty excited about that. Bite was pretty slow. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please do. Uh, like these videos, share with your friends, and uh, it's your boy DL. So, Country to Coast Adventures. We'll see you down the road.